In today's video, I will show you how to use the MealDB API. This is what the final result will look like once you have everything set up using Postman, which is a free API client that you can download so that you can easily follow along. Once you have everything set up, we will hit send. And here you can see the response that we get back from the MealDB API. In this example, we're searching for all recipes that have the word salad in their title. And just before we begin, I will have a link in the description and in the comments where you can download all of the API calls that I will show in this tutorial. And that way you don't have to manually recreate each of these API calls. So to start, I will go back to the MealDB homepage and then click on API. Here, you can read more about the API. If we look down here, we can see that this specific API call will search a meal by its name, and that's the one I showed in the earlier example. If we want to make this API call ourselves, we can just copy the URL here, go back to Postman, create a new request, make sure it's a get request, paste in what we just copied, but just make sure to change out the last part for whatever recipe you want to search for. In this example, I'll just do salad, and then you can just hit send. In the response, we should now see that all of the meals that is displaying has the word salad in the title. So you can see here that we just have a bunch of different salads. The next API call I want to show is how to get all the details for a specific recipe. And we can do that by copying this URL here and then go back to Postman. I already have it set up here, but you can see this is the exact URL that we just copied. And I could just hit send. In the response, we can now see all of the details for this specific recipe, which is teriyaki chicken casserole. We could also use this API call from some of the recipes that we got from our previous API calls. For example, for this specific recipe, we can just copy the ID here and then paste it here and then hit send. And now in the response, we can now see all of the details for this specific recipe, which is a spicy North African potato salad. For the next API call, I will show you how to get a single random meal by using this API call here. Just like before, we can just copy the URL, go back to Postman, create a get request, and just paste in the URL that we just copied. Then we can hit send. And we should now see a random recipe here. And you can see that this is like a roasted eggplant meal. But if I hit send, we now see another random recipe. The next API call I want to show is how to get a preview image of the meal itself. If we go back to documentation and scroll down a little bit more, we can see there's an images section and it explains to us how we can get the meal thumbnail image. And all we have to do is add preview to the end of a meal image URL. Going back to Postman, if we look back at any of the responses that have to do with meals, we can see one of the attributes is this meal thumbnail URL here. So if we copy this URL here, then we create another get request and we just paste in what we just copied and then we just add backslash preview and then hit send we should now get back in the response a thumbnail image of the meal itself and for the last api call i will show you how to get a meal by a specific category so if we just copy the url here go back to postman and create another get request we can just paste in the url here hit send and in the response, we should now see all different meals that have to relate to seafood. You can also specify other categories such as chicken. So if I just type in chicken and hit send, we can now see all the recipes that we get back are now recipes that relate to chicken. And that is the end of this tutorial. Just as a reminder, I will leave a link in the description and in the comments where you can download this entire Postman collection completely for free so that you don't have to manually recreate these API calls yourself. Hopefully you found this video helpful. If you did, please like the video and don't forget to subscribe for more content.